Could you imagine that? Oh, relax there, guys. Relax. Hey, 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 relax. on doors you called right or uh was it beauty why would i call you listen i've had a shitty night don't you think you're the only one and i really don't want to deal with the runaround snow said you called and wanted to talk to me well i didn't call must have been beauty she's been surprising me a lot lately can i so have you Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? V? Who's at the door? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Oh, this is gonna get bad! I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't Come on, look, you guys are so... Talk about living in the past. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. I am trying to do things right, okay? Do you keep fighting about that, or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to No, you can't! I'm the fucking sheriff! Answer. I'm supposed to help! That's why I called. I know what the electric we'll bill is for that thing. Later, but we need... Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out from the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle. Okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to hey, the phone right now, not so leave yet. a message at the I beach should... and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. 
possible. Beep. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise. That the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop? The cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place. But it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No. Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin, you know. I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. No, probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Okay, so I can either go to the butcher shop or Lucky Pond. 
So if Lucky Pond, if I go to Lucky Pond, then Beauty might get in, then Beauty will get in trouble. But if I go to the butcher shop, it might be Beast. But Beast is very strong as it is, so I'm sure he can take care of himself. Beauty, on the other hand, it will be very difficult for her to do anything. So I'm gonna go with the safe bet. You know that butcher shop, the cut above. The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. You know that butcher shop. Okay, and then? Lucky Pong. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that. You know that butcher shop. Butcher shop. The cut above. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pond after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Yeah, you better fucking praise me afterwards. Fuck that. Piece of shit. Buenos dias! Hello! Is anyone home? Wow, their selection is very good. <laughs> Ooh! Um. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Then why do you have that shit? Right. I know to keep face, but why do you still have that shit? Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? I don't know. It's just to keep face, right? Right? It's just to keep face. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before at the Tweedles. Big B Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special, New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs. Johan, I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I, Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh. -huh. Shit. I got it covered back. 
back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. This is so creepy. What's the problem? I'm just coming back to give you a hand. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. You're such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. Hey, you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would be the day. Big B. Wolf would... Let's see what's behind door number one. Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Agreed.
All right, let's look around. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. I'm guessing they try and, like, force someone to talk or something? These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Um, stock. Huh. Looks like math or something. Hold on, before I flip the switch. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Like breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? No, I gotta. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You wanna talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, it looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. And slave labor to work in. So these must be the orders. He's got his hooks into everybody. It's pretty clear how. Oh yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains. He's... he's enslaving fables. My watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got in some way. That's why it was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. Leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Do it right from your living room. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. What about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. There's no way to get out of this. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take him down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff.
Can't let him handle. Nope. I'm gonna save him. 